Hello and welcome to another Google Web Designer video. Today we're looking at building multiple display ads. But first, a question. At this time of year, us digital folk are rather busy producing uh, display advertisements for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas and January sales. So my question is, what tools or systems do you use? Is it HTML5 with Gulp? Or is it a Web IDE platform, a bit like Bannerflow? Or is it just Google Web Design all the way? Which systems do you prefer? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks. Right, on with the content. So building multiple banners. Um, I'm going to refresh the page here. So there we go. There's our multiple banners all running off the same animation, different sizes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into Google Web Designer and do that again. So first of all, file new. I'm going to call it demo test 22 because I've done this a few times now. Um, the environment is not applicable. You can select any environment you want. I'm going to use an MPU and then I'm going to tick the tick box for responsive layout. I hit OK. Right, first of all, I'm going to add a div to my stage. The reason for this is I want to have a movie clip that I can put my animation inside so I can then move that uh, animation clip around. So I'm going to import my images. Just going to import them from a previous banner. There we go. Right, I'm now going to put a little animation together. Right, that's my animation. I'm going to go back up a layer. I'm going to name it animation. Right, next I'm going to add a CTA. So I'll just go over to the UI components on the right hand side, drag a button in, and I'll give it a quick color. Right, now, now I'm going to update the background color. Next, we're now going to sort of finally select the banners we want. So on the left hand side, so we've got the MPU selected already. So I'm now going to select another similar size, 300 by 600, a 320 by 480. I'll then select a 728 by 90, 160 by 600. And because we all like a mobile banner, a 320 by 50. If you want to see all those, tap this icon on the right hand side. It's in the responsive section if you couldn't see that. Right. So first of all, let's drag this across so we can see all our banners. So there they are in their glory. OK, so which one should we start with? Well, I think it's probably a good idea if we sort out the MPU because it's a little off at the moment. So. With the MPU selected and the animation layer selected, I'm going to go over to scale under uh, with it set to absolute. I'm just going to adjust the scale by 25%. There we go. And then I'm just going to reposition that on the stage. So there we go. And if I hit play again, brilliant. So we get our animation and the MPU looks great. So I'm now going to move on to the 320 by 480. Just going to tap on it on the right hand side it now shifts me over to it you can select it on the left hand side but obviously because i have the large canvas open i can see all of them again i'm going to select it and i'm just going to again adjust the size of it with the scale on the right hand side from the toolbar and i'll position that there uh, the button i think i'm just going to move that down to the middle sort of in the middle there we go right Play that. I think you can see where this is going. It's not too hard. Once you start making one animation, you can easily make the next animation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust all of the banners in one go. I'll speed this up.
So there you go, that's how you build uh, multiple banners with Google Web Designer. I highly recommend trying it out for yourself. Also, please do answer my question from earlier on. What system do you use to make multiple banners with? I'd be really interested to find out. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and uh, also subscribe to my channel. You can also now follow me on Instagram. I have a nice little channel here with some of the uh, projects I've worked on. We've got the Ewok face, we've got the uh, pumpkin head. You can also see some of the other technologies I'm playing around with. For example, Deep AR, that didn't go so well. And also you can pick up on some of the other things I've played around with in the past. Thanks for watching.